we've been a lucky species. And I think if we went back 100,000 years, there were four or five different kinds of humans around on the earth. It might be difficult to pick any one of them out and say, these are the ones who are gonna be successful and end up taking over the world and the others are all gonna disappear. When we look, for example, at Britain, over the last 900,000 years, there were probably at least 12 separate occupations of the British Isles by humans. Probably four different species were here. All of those earlier occupations, 11 of them at least, disappeared because of severe climate change. If we need a more global explanation for why we're the last ones, we've got to talk about why Denisovans disappeared, why Homo floresiensis, the so-called hobbit, disappeared, Homo luzonensis in the Philippines. I think luck is certainly part of it. And I think we don't necessarily know the full story. If you're going to survive, you have to have enough population numbers, you have to have enough genetic diversity to see you through crises. These earlier species, they've got a, a larger physiological load. They probably were more demanding of the environment in terms of the calories. And that means that in any given environment, actually you can support less people. To begin with, of course, Homo sapiens spread out of Africa in very small numbers. And many of those early populations of Homo sapiens, we think they died out too. So Homo sapiens wasn't guaranteed to have success. Who knows what the future holds? Uh, I don't think we've got any guarantees of, of long-term success, even for Homo sapiens, we'll have to see.